Hey guys, how's it going out there today? I hope you guys are doing really, really good. Things are going really well here in Tokyo, Japan, except for the weather. We have this fifth season here called the rainy season that runs for about a month, late June, early July, and it's not going away this year. And we're having rain just about every single day, which means I'm stuck in the house a lot, even though I'm on my holidays. But you know what? That gives me more time to talk about sneakers and bring you my daily sneaker content, which today is this right here, the Nike Air Jordan 11 Low Women's Concord. A lot in this shoe to talk about in terms of the women's side of things, the colorway where it fits with the rest of the drops that have been coming out recently and what it means for its drop date which is why I named this video what happened with the drop date for this sneaker because it's been all over the place. There's an awful lot to talk about and we'll do that in this video right now. So let's get into the Nike Air Jordan 11 Low Women's Concord. This is the Tokyo Bada 23 sneaker channel. Tokyo Bada 23 sneaker channel des. My nichi absuru no de, my nichi mitiku desai. Every single day from Tokyo, Japan, I bring you content about upcoming sneaker releases, sneaker news, and sneaker reviews. And today what we're looking at is that Nike Air Jordan 11 Low Women's Concord. Uh, I'm not entirely sure why they call it a Concord, because a Concord to me would be this colorway, but with the black patent leather around the bottom of it, whether it's a high or a low or whatever, it doesn't really matter. But that would be the Concord uh, colorway to me. But maybe the, the color of the patent leather down there doesn't actually matter. Uh, for it to be called a Concord. Maybe the design of the shoe, the structure of the shoe, that kind of stuff is all that matters and not necessarily the colors, but that's just me. Uh, and uh, for me, yes, 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 thank you. Uh, thank you, Jordan. I appreciate this kind of shoe. This is the kind of shoe that I just love the brands to bring out, whether it's Adidas or Jordan or Reebok, anyone like that. You know, I'm a, I'm a simple guy. I like my shoes simple. Uh, and I like it when they go back to like original colorways, original color blockings, original silhouettes, and go with the sort of standard look. Now, what I'm getting at is a shoe I did recently, which was the uh, Black Cement 11 Lows. Uh, and I was pretty critical of that. In fact, the video, I think I titled it, uh, The Only Angle That Looks Good On These Shoes. Uh, and there was only one you know, angle looking at the shoes that I thought looked good and the rest I thought looked really terrible. Um, and part of that was because I don't like it when uh, a low doesn't match a high, for example, and we talked in that video about Air Jordan 1s, how good a job they do with their high, mid and low all lining up. Uh, and I don't like it you know, when that happens. So today, it's, oh, it's, it's just eye candy for me. It totally matches the rest of the sort of line of Air Jordan 11s. Uh, so yes, a very big yes for me. Not a fan of that kind of broken up midsection, like I said, on the black cement. Big fan of when the shoes match their sort of big brothers and big sisters. However, having said that, full disclosure, uh, regular viewers will know that I'm an honest guy and I call it straight, tell it how it is, uh, even if that goes against the grain or even if I say things that uh, sneaker YouTubers are not supposed to say. Um, and um, what I'm not supposed to say is I've never liked the Elevens and I've never liked that patent leather that wraps around them. I know they're an iconic shoe. I know the Space Jam and all that story that's up there, um, you know, and the, the kind of, you know, zoot suity sort of 30s gangster vibe to them, but they're just not my thing. Uh, I don't like shiny things on shoes very much. That patent leather wrapped around these guys, for me, isn't what draws me to the shoe. So, uh, for example, you know what? For example, Varsity Royals, I love the three silhouette and I love the standard three colorways you know not the kind of um, what was it the Animal Instinct 2.0s for example which were a big hodgepodge of many different things materials and colors and everything uh, but those Varsity Royals there I really wanted them and then when they dropped on sneakers here they were a size and a half too small for me and that's just too low to go you can't squeeze your foot into a size and a half too small no matter how thin your socks are um, and um, so I really want them, but that's your, your sort of standard colorway. And if anything, usually the threes are quite a dull shoe, you know, a matte finish, not very sort of shiny, not very glossy. Um, and that's my kind of shoe. That's a personal opinion, though. I'm not saying these shoes are ugly. I'm just saying I don't like them. Uh, and hopefully there'll be people out there who will tell me in the comments down below that they love them. I love it when people have a difference of opinion from me. Um, and uh, But these shoes, yeah, there's a few things to look at. One of them is that women's in the title. I've never been a fan of it. Never liked it when they put women's only shoes out there. I think women's can make women Men can wear men's shoes and men can wear women's shoes. Uh, men can wear pink shoes, women can wear blue shoes. And we're looking at a blue shoe right here today. Um, so I always get a bit frustrated when shoes have women's attached to them as if that somehow means only certain people should wear the shoe. I think we should all be free to wear whatever shoes we like. So uh, I'd like to see these guys come out in a full, you know, full size run uh, that anybody could get their hands on if they like them, you know? So, uh, so that's just me. Uh, but then, you know, the shoe itself, let's get into that and have a look at the details on it. Now, uh, tomorrow's gonna be an interesting shoe because we're gonna talk 
talk about um, maybe me getting my first ever pair of Air Jordan 1s, which sounds a bit strange, of course, uh, but I always put a link down below in every single video in the description about why I had never owned a pair of Jordan sneakers before. So we'll get to that tomorrow. Um, I'm not, you know, obviously going to be looking at these shoes. They're women's and I'm not a huge fan of them, so I'm not going to be looking to get them. But tomorrow's shoe is a whole different story. Uh, but these guys here, there are a few close-up looks, uh, things I want to look at on. Uh, and one of the great things about having this channel, like I said, about the Jordan line, is it's been a great learning experience for me. This is day something like 575 in a row that I've done consecutive sneaker content on YouTube. 575 consecutive days, something like that. Um, and uh, and I've learned a lot about shoes. And one of my favorite things about the Jordan 11s that I learned uh, was what it said on the lacing system on there. I had no idea what this says here and you'll be able to see behind me now. I'm sure I've zoomed in on the green screen uh, so you can have a look at that. And I was always confused by it because I was always trying to sort of read it, um, you know, like, front on if you like but you're meant to read it side on uh, and it was one of my favorite little things to learn that it says Jumpman Jordan on there because I was trying to work that out for years I even thought maybe it was numbers or something like that just if you look at it from you know straight on rather than from the side so uh, um, but that there that's an important place to look on the shoe because that's the first place we get into the color especially with the little Jumpman in the middle there um, and that's the first sort of bit the colorway and like I said for this shoe I, I do appreciate the fact that they've gone with the standard colorway and the sort of standard color styling on it it's pretty much a three color shoe white black and blue and they've stuck with that motif all the way through and that little bit of the lacing system on there is place number one where they do that uh, then if we go around to the back and have a look at the back of them that font that you saw in the front there with that Jordan uh, that Jumpman Jordan um, across the the laces across the tongue there you see it again on the back with that 23 high up round about the sort of ankle roll on there and again it's that sort of elongated thin font on there uh, which is a classic sort of element of the uh, Air Jordan 11 lows big plus uh, and then of course you know if we're coming if we've started high and we're coming down we get to that patent leather that runs all the way around here and I think it's worth looking at the front end of the shoe where the patent leather and the lacing system sit side by side because that's the classic look for the 11s uh, which was missing in my opinion from those um black cement so that dropped a couple of in fact i don't know if they've dropped yet but i did the video a couple of days ago um and uh so that classic sort of lacing system style up high uh in mesh i think uh, or nylon or, or polyester fabrics you know and man-made fabrics and then down into that patent leather around the whole sort of circumference of the bottom half of the shoe uh, and then you get to the outsole on these guys and i'm very happy to say that it's an icy blue outsole um usually that's what it is and you know people would be like right of course it's icy blue uh but then these uh, back to the black cements it was like you know hmm isn't that icy brown does that isn't that ice do you think that's icy brown i thought it was icy brown uh, or at least sort of like dirty water icy dirty icy dirty icy icy dirty icy brown dirty icy i don't know uh, but but anyway we're not in that shoe today we're in this shoe today and it's a very classic icy blue outsole on there and that very classic Air Jordan 11 outsole and it's all very very clean so uh, so coming back you know to look at the full shoe it's that classic colorway which is what I like to see in shoes it's very very simple but it has all the details in the right place to make the shoe work the way the blue the black and the white all play off of each other so it's just that simple sort of three color color way all of that makes sense to me and is a big yes it's just for me, it's just not my favorite silhouette. It's not the kind of the shoe that I'm going to be digging into my pocket and going after, even if it wasn't a women's shoe. But like I said, tomorrow's Air Jordan 1, which is, um, I've forgotten the name of it, but it's like three colors, like slate, gray, blue, or something like that. I know it's not that, but you you probably know what it is out there already. Um, and, uh, and that's a shoe I'm seriously thinking about getting my hands on. So we'll talk about that in tomorrow's video. But for now, it's time to wrap this video up and thank you guys for checking out the content. I do truly appreciate it. And I do do this every single day. I mean, that sounds a bit silly or a bit simple, but when you've been doing it since December 2018, every day without a single day missed, that's something that I'm, I'm kind of proud of. Uh, and I'll keep on doing that and hopefully keep going on with this. So this is today's today's video. This is Monday's video. I'm shooting on Sunday afternoon. So uh, hopefully you guys enjoy the content. Uh, stay tuned for more tomorrow because I'm here every single day. Uh, and because of that, that means that you are guaranteed to see me tomorrow.